Well, Senator Dorgan's contribution to North Dakota is really unmatched in our history. Uh, Forty years of service to our state, uh, tax commissioner, congressman, senator, and somebody who has made a profound difference for our state. In almost every part of North Dakota, you can see the effect of his good work from the research corridor in the eastern part of the state to the investments in the energy sector that are going to pay enormous dividends for North Dakota and the nation, to so many other things that Byron has done for our state, leading the successful flood fights, and in those cases where we had to recover from flood disaster, all of the recovery efforts, to our veterans facilities, and so much more. And nationally, of course, Byron has been prescient. If his advice had been followed, we might well have averted the downturn because he strongly opposed the deregulation of the banks. He warned against uh, these unfair trade practices. And of course, he's been a foremost advocate of fiscal responsibility. Senator Dorgan's leadership will be sorely missed in North Dakota and in the nation. But you know, I suspect he won't be on the sidelines very long. I'm sure as the Obama administration considers new cabinet uh, positions as openings become available, Senator Dorgan will be on the short list. Congressman Pomeroy has been a strong and important voice for North Dakota in the Congress of the United States. He is on the most powerful committee in the uh, House of Representatives and of course serves on the Agriculture Committee as well, where he was a, a very key mover in the last farm bill that was so important to our state. So we are fortunate to have somebody of his talent and his character representing North Dakota and I'm confident he will be returned. Uh, it would be a tremendous blow to North Dakota to lose Senator Dorgan's seniority and Congressman Pomeroy. So that would be uh, not in North Dakota's interest.